Hello, a morning drawing Amy. I'm Jeannie Mellish. I'm going to show you eight life drawings I drew on the morning of June 18th, 2022. I'll now tell you about each one. The three five minute charcoal drawings. Charcoal is very useful if you're doing a quick five minute drawing and you've made a mistake, you just swipe it out with your hand and it, it is amazingly simple and very cheap. And you can do a quick drawing very quickly. There's three of them there. That's three. And the rest are in on pastel paper. This is on brown pastel paper. And the model is is in chalk in pastel and this I went close up to the head but I wasn't very close up so most of it is imagination on that one and this one is there's a few minutes left and I did a quick life drawing in ink on on light Born pastel paper. This is on grey pastel paper. Most uh, that's and this is on grey pastel paper, a reclining figure. My first picture, it was a five minute pose and and I'm going to hand them to Nick as I do them. This is um, it's giving us a warm-up. The warm-up exercises, it gives you a chance for the model to warm up, getting used to modelling, and for me as an artist, getting used to drawing first thing in the morning. And here we are, the second one, another five-minute pose. And you know you've only got five minutes, so you've got to act fast. Got to make every line count, or else not do it at all. So the three five-minute poses. This one was, I think it was a twenty-minute pose, and she was sitting, hugging her leg, and I was quite a long way away, so I didn't have a very close-up picture, but I used pastels on a brown pastel paper. And the brown of the pastel paper comes here, comes here, comes here, comes here, and here, here, and here, down, 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 and all the way down there. So you can see it in this corner. So that's the, the brown, sort of donkey brown colour. Um, I'm a bit scared of these blowing, so I'll put that on top. This, I had a few minutes left, so I thought I'll close in and do a close-up. But I wasn't close, I was still the same distance away. And so it was a bit more of an imaginative close-up. This was grey paper, not brown. And you can see the grey all the way on that there, along the edge there, along the edge there. And touches down the side of the nose, down the side of that eye down the side of that cheek you can see the same grey, grey and scumbled grey to make to make a different tone scumbled grey on with yellow grey and so it's like mixing colours only it's um, it's using pastels in, in their own individual way this was a longer pose and um it's on grey paper the same. I only had a few colours left and I used all the colours I got. I didn't choose them, they just chose me. The grey in that corner there, the grey all over there to there, and the grey there on that edge there. But here you have the grey, the gray, it's like a grey shadow paint, but it's, it's the colour of the paper. The colour of the paper, the colour of the paper, the grey, the grey and and there and the grey there 
and the grey down there and the grey just above her breast so you can see how I use the grey paper as a, almost as a paint I had this um, coffee coloured coffee cream paper and I used um, ink and it's a, just a quick one because I had a bit of time left and so I just quickly did a line drawing. Same girl, same mode, same morning. Twist it around. See what? Same grey paper again. And this was my last painting. I call it a painting, it's it's a pastel painting. Um, it's not sticky, it's dry, it's chalk. It, and I'm showing you the grey paper here, all the way along the edge there, all the way along there, and then it's scumbled here, and it's scumbled in different places on the stomach to give the grey-yellow sort of half tone quality. And if I'm going to touch where it's grey, the grey, the paper, the colour grey, the paper is there, nothing on it at all. And there, and there, and there, underneath the arm, there, and and it's scumbled around the neck so that it's sort of half and half and the highlights are the strong yellow white there, 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 there and there and on the top of the hand um, and, the, and the background colour there was, there was velvet cushions and throws that I put in here and there and um, the background, sort of brick red, just because I wanted something to to bring out the, the the model, the highlights of the model. Actually, the sun was down; it was dull, it was raining, and the light was bad, and I had no strong light. But my imagination gave it these qualities because I wanted it to be. Um, light effects and the sun didn't give it and so my, my brain did it and the, as for the, the background it was for no uh, purpose excepting just to allow the, the model to come forward so all these I use the pastel paper to to act as one of the main painting colours. Some of these drawings were on pastel paper and I used the pastel paper colour for the dark shadow quality of the flesh. They're different coloured papers and so that I, I still did it using the pastel colour. The paper was the colour of the shadow in the flesh. And that's a technique that I, I did for these, just these drawings. I just happened to do it. It's um, it's, uh, it's many many variations in pastel painting, but that's just what I did today, on this day. Um, and and with the highlights of the flesh, I used heavy, creamy white. Um, pastel colour for the highlights. I hope you enjoyed seeing a morning drawing Amy. If you want to learn more please subscribe to my channel Colourful World of Jeannie. I'm Jeannie Mellish. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.